Hello everyone, Dr. Alok Agrawal and I welcome you all on my second video related to funding opportunities provided by Science and Engineering Research Board that is SCR. So in this video, we will see the funding opportunity under a scheme a startup research grant. And the most important thing is the deadline for submitting this proposal is 1st March 2022. So in this video, we will discuss about the objective of the scheme. Then the nature and duration of the support provided by SCRB under this scheme, the eligibility criteria, mode of application and selection procedure, termination and transfer of project, then plagiarism, how to apply for this scheme and the document required for submitting this proposal. So let us start with objective. So what is the basic objective or aim of SCRB behind this scheme is that they want young researcher to initiate their career in a new institute. So the primary aim is to assist the researcher to initiate their research work in new institute. And they will provide the grant under this scheme for a duration of two years in the area of science and engineering. And so that the researcher will be able to establish themselves as a researcher and they can move to the mainstream of core research grant. Next is, the nature and duration of the support. So, SERB will give, will provide a research grant of around 30 lakh for a period of two years. Apart from that, there will be overhead cost also, which is around 10% of the total cost of the project. The research grant will cover the equipment cost, manpower, consumable, travel, and contingency. So, there is a different cap or standard cap for each. Uh, subheading that is travel contingency or overhead and the applicant are flexible to choose the budget under each category or under each head as per the requirement of their project. This is one time career grant so that the person receiving this grant cannot apply for next time. So this is one time career grant and the maximum number of grant awarded per year will be around 500 and decided by SERB. Next is the eligibility criteria. The applicant need to be a citizen of India for applying in, under this scheme. Though the foreign nationals can also apply, but they should be in a any public funded or recognized R&D institute or laboratory. And again, they need to take one Indian copy I with them. Again, the applicant should hold a PhD degree if they are from science and engineering background or they should have MD, MS or MDS degree with them. The applicant must hold a regular academic or research position in the recognized institution or in any R&D institution or any national laboratory. And the applicant is eligible to apply within two years of the joining of the institute. That is very important. If your date of joining is more than two years on your current institute, then you are not eligible to apply for this scheme. Under eligibility, now let us see who cannot apply for this scheme. So the person or the applicant holding Inspire Faculty, Ramanujan or Lama Singh, Ramalinga Swami Fellowship are not eligible under this scheme. Anyone uh, the on, ongoing research associate or postdoctoral fellowship, ad hoc faculty are also not eligible to apply. Guest faculty, visiting scientists are not eligible to apply under this project. Project fellow or the faculty member who are in contract and their contract need to be renewed every year, they are also not able to apply under this scheme. Co-PI are not allowed in this scheme except if you are a foreign national. And the upper age limit of this under this scheme is 42 years, though the relaxation of three years will be given to the candidate belongs to SC, ST, OBC, physically challenged or women's category. Again, the applicant should not receive any other grant under SCRB. Uh, they are only eligible to apply if you are holding any grant and you are working on any research proposal or research grant given by SCRB, you are not able to apply for this scheme. <clears throat> Next is the mode of application and selection procedure. Again, the uh, person interested, the applicant interested can apply through website 
of SERB and the website is given here. The selection procedure is based on by the expert committee. The expert committee is constituted by the board of SERB. They will see the track record of the applicant and the proposed research plan. And on the basis of both the things, they will decide whether to release fund or not, or whether to select the candidate or not. Next is very important, that is termination and transfer of project. So if the PI want to terminate its project, they need to tell or they need to inform SERB through their host institute. And the host institute are not eligible to make any expenditure after the date of termination of the project. They also need to arrange all the documents and, and need to submit it to, it, uh, to the SERB. If uh, SERB also have authority to terminate the project if they found that the progress of the project is not appropriate, the grant released by them is not utilized properly, and if the PI or the host institute are submitting any false information, SERB can terminate the project. Again, project sanction under SERB cannot be transferred to any other person. The PI will remain same and it uh, you cannot change the PI. Transfer of project is possible only if the grant is given to the applicant working in any private public or government institute and they need to transfer their project to any public or government institution. From private to private, it is not possible. Okay, and general administrative transfer in government or public funded institution is uh, are allowed. Okay, allowed. Next is plagiarism. The proposal that you are submitting need to be original, and the plagiarism in any form will not be acceptable. So it is advised to check the plagiarism before submitting the project. Next, how to apply? So you need to apply through our SERB online portal. You have to register first, and after register, after registering, you need to fill certain important and mandatory field like your profile detail, uh, your bio data need to be uploaded, your photo, your institute address. All this mandatory thing needs to be filled. After that, they will ask for some technical thing like the, your project title, which should not be more than 500 characters, the summary of your project within 3000 characters, keyword related to your project, objective of the project within 1500 characters, expected outcome of the project, and finally, the budget. The budget needs to be divided in various heads like manpower, consumable, travel, equipment, contingency, and overhead. Overhead budget is mainly decided by the SERB, and it is around 10% of the total cost of the project. After this, you need to submit a file name, other relevant information, and the format is available in the SERB portal. The file should be in PDF and should not be more than 10 MB. So what they ask in this other relevant information, we will see in next slide. So what they require under technical document, that is other relevant information. So they mainly they require technical document of your proposal. So they need a state of art of your project in one page. Then the origin of the proposal they required within half page. Your research plan, how you will plan your project and you are you will be able to complete it in given time. They need it in two pages. Then this is very important. The key publication of the investigator during the last five years, they require the list of publication. Try to submit a project related to your research background so that there are probability to get the research grant are high. Next is bibliography. <clears throat> and finally, the equipment <clears throat> available with the institute or with the PI or in the group department or any other institute nearby need to be filled here. Okay, so these are the document that are required under other relevant information section. Again, once you fill all these things, <coughs> certain document need to be uploaded in the format given by SERB. The first one is biodata. There is a format available in SERB portal. You need to download that portal. Uh, you need to download that document and you need to fill your biodata in that format and, you, and upload 
during the submission of your research proposal so next is the certificate pro from principal investigator the format of this is also available then the endorsement letter from the head of institute that is your director or principal the format of the same is available in the serb portal then you need to submit your age proof certificate that you can submit your 10th class mark sheet or your birth certificate both are acceptable if you want age relaxation under any of the criteria you need to submit the relevant document like category certificate if you need uh, relaxation under category and uh, physically handicapped if you need uh, age relaxation under that then you need to submit the ne uh, necessary document then there is a format which is mentioning that you have checked the plagiarism of the report that you are submitting and it is well within the limit so you need to submit that document also the format is available in the serb portal under this scheme so this is all about startup research grant scheme thank you in next video i will be discussing on core research grant scheme that is also uh, open for application thank you very much